Welcome to the Daily App Show dot com app reviews. Uh, today we have a word game for you called War of Words. Uh, you can see here. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our app, and it's gonna show us our little splash screen as it loads. Uh, now a cool thing about this app is uh, it's not your traditional board game app. This has a lot of different action tiles and things like that that are gonna help you uh, win against your opponent. So we have our main menu here. You can see we have new game, achievements, high scores, settings, help, and rules. We also have down here our main menu, our active games, or our finished games. If we go into our settings, we can uh, change. We can accept you know, randoms. We can put our email and phone number in there if we want to help people find us easier. You can change you know, sound effects on and off, things like that. You can actually even change the game background to even uh, a picture of your own photo or something like that, or you can just select your own. Um, if that's what you want to do too. So we're going to go back and we're going to start a new game. You can uh, do Game Center Friends, search by nickname, you know, random opponent, things like that. We're going to go ahead and do a pass and play just so we can kind of show you more of the game. Uh, and you can change your player if you want. So we're going to hit New Game. Now you can either choose a random board or go through these boards as you like. And you can see that each uh, board gets harder and harder and you can customize them with uh, limit swap, shield tiles, or balance distribution if that's something that you wanted to do too. So we can go ahead and go and we're going to start, you know, just a words with bombs. This first one here is so we're going to show you what it's all about. So we're going to go ahead and generate our board and you can see that we have a couple different tiles too. Um, so we, and we have question marks above them. So we can go ahead and hit the question mark. It's going to kind of show us a little tutorial of what it is. This is the wild card tile uh, and it can be any letter that we uh, want it to be. We can go ahead and spell the word wild because we want that to be an I. Bam. It is now the word wild, even though it's blank. Uh, and now we can also, it's not just stuck as a C or as an I. We can now have it be a C for a wild card. So that's cool too. Any letter that we want it to be. There's also this little uh, shield or this little uh, metal uh, bracket here. We hit the question mark. This is the barricade tile and it was, will block other tiles. So we can go ahead and block. We don't want our opponent to get this four times uh, word bonus here. So we can go to block them. Bam, they can't go there and play off our W. So we're going to go ahead and play. We can go ahead and uh, show you a little bit. And we don't want our opponent to be able to play here. So we can go ahead and play. Submit our turn. And it's going to submit our turn for us. It is now going to uh, load up our opponent's tiles. Uh, and you can see they don't have any bonuses here. So... We are just going to play a word here. So you can see now I have a shield tile here. If I go ahead and hit the question marks, you can tell us about it. And these uh, actually uh, block our opponent. So we can go ahead and place it down right there and play our word on it. Go ahead and hit next. Our, our uh, uh, opponent cannot play within that shielded area. So... Throw this shield down right here so our opponent cannot play. We're going to submit our turn. There's all these different uh, uh, action tiles. So this one is actually a, a thief tile, and it can we can actually steal um, points from our opponent. We can go ahead and put it down, play on top of it, and you can see it's going to take 9 points from our opponent and give us 14 points. So bam, we did that, and that's what that is for. So say we wanted to uh, play here. It's going to steal 8 points and give us 12. So the cool thing about this is it's not necessarily that just because you're in the lead, you're going to win. Say I got a bomb tile, which is going to blow up some of my opponent's letters. If I place it right, it's going to 
uh, take away some points from them. I can do the thief one where I can steal some points from them or anything like that. Shield, block them. So this is a, a really cool game um, as far as that. You know, just because you're in the, he uh, in the lead doesn't mean you're going to win uh, as you go. You can actually go ahead and hit more. You can cancel this game. Help and rules, statistics if we want, you know, about this uh, game and things like that. So once again, uh, this game is called War of Words. It's available for the iPad. And if you like it, go ahead and uh, pick it up in the App Store today.